In this video, we are going to go over some matrix operations that we could use in SAS. And the first of set operations, once we define our matrices, we could do matrix addition. As long as the, the matrices are the same size, this will add each respective element. So, for example, if I were to add A and B here, you get the numbers 8, 10, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18. And then if I were to just show the rest of that so we can see what it does as I try to hide the rest of this so that way it does not show up. That does not want me to do that. Okay. I'll do this. So, when we add them, we will get the values of 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18, as I said. If we wanted to do matrix subtraction, same thing, that subtracts each respective element and they have to be the same size. So if I want to do A minus B, A minus B, you would get a whole bunch of negative numbers, but those would be, let's see, negative 6, negative 6, negative 6, negative 6, negative 6, and negative 6. And just to show that very quickly on here, we can see indeed we get all negative 6. Is. And we could multiply by a scalar. scalar. So called scalar multiplication. For example, if we take 2 times a, it multiplies each element of a by 2. So we get 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. And then just to show that one quickly in action, that would look like this. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. We can multiply two matrices. Uh, the special format though is it takes the number of columns of the first of the first matrix and the number of columns of the second matrix both a um, number of rows of the second matrix excuse me as long as both of those are the same we can multiply them so it's in the format of n times m for the first matrix so n rows m columns times m by t for the second matrix so m rows and t columns since we have both of these inner values here of M, we can multiply these two to get a matrix of size N by T. So for example, C here is a 2 by 2, B is a 2 by 3. So because of that we'll get a 2 by 3 back. And to show that, Our 2 by 3 is down here. 27, 30, 33, 61, 60, and 75. For the inverse of a matrix, it needs to be a square matrix and n by n matrix. So, for example, if I want to do the transpose of matrix C down here, I would use T of C. This one. gives us a transpose here of 1, 3, 2, 4. When the original matrix was 1, 2, 3, 4. Notice how I just switched those two values. That's special for a 2 by 2 matrix. Um, it takes whatever the matrix size was originally of n by m and transposes it to size m by n. Of course, I used a 2 by 2 matrix to begin with, but if we did something such as the transpose of b, just to show what it does. I can get rid of the rest of this. That used to be a 2 by 3 matrix, now it's a 3 by 2. Just changing the ordering of the values. The number of rows in a matrix 
n row of that matrix. This will just give you the number of rows of the matrix. So matrix C had two rows and two columns. So that should give us a value of two. And doing so does indeed give us that value of two. Just that the number of columns gives you the number of columns of a matrix. N col of C. And just to show that, that also gives us two. We can use dimension of a matrix to find the dimension of a matrix. So if I wanted to do the dimension of A, let me put that up. Dimension of A here would be a 2 by 3 matrix, which made sense because it's a 2 by 3 matrix. The rank of a matrix is we would use this value of round trace round parentheses trace parentheses G I N V of A times A. This would give us the rank of that matrix. So if we want the rank of matrix A, that gives us a rank of two. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.